This video will explain how the simple bubble sort algorithm works. So here we have a, an array A of ints that stores five values, five, one, four, two, eight. We then have a an int variable T, and this will store the, the temporary variable which is used during the swapping process. So essentially, a bubble sort algorithm is a comparison algorithm. Now it's not the fastest sorting algorithm but in, in many ways it's the, the simplest to understand. Um, the other sorting algorithm you need to know for GCSE digital technology is the insertion sort which the next video in this series will cover. So first thing I'm going to do in, in this particular example which is on REPL is show you how to uh, print the contents of the array. You'll see on line 6 here I have populated the array and created it on the same line. So this array has 51428 in the first in the five locations. 5 is in location 0 and 8 is in location 4. On line 13 I have just used a simple for loop just to iterate through each location in the array A and print out the values of that array which you can see in the console output screen on the right hand side. On lines 22, on line 22 this is the start of the actual swapping mechanism and it uses a nested for loop to carry out the comparison and the swapping. So the outer for loop it controls the passes through the array and it will pass through the array one less than the length of the array. So an array of length 6 it will do five passes. The inner for loop will be used to essentially check adjacent variables during that particular pass which will essentially then continue to swap a larger variable with a smaller variable until it reaches a location in the array where the next variable in the array is larger than the current variable in the array. And again, this inner for loop will run one less than the, the length of the array. So quite simply, it will literally check the value in the location directly adjacent to the current location and if the value in the current location is greater than the location the next location indicated by j plus one if that's true it will then instigate a swapping process and as mentioned at the start of the video this int variable t will store the, the value that's going to be overwritten in the adjacent location essentially. So this variable t will store the variable in j plus 1 so that whenever the j plus 1 is swapped with j i.e. stores the new value of j we still have the original value in j plus 1. At the end of this swapping process the value that was in j um, plus one is then and now stored in the variable t is stored in location j. So as you can see from the output on the right hand side we start off with a, an array with which is unsorted 51428 and then afterwards when we run on lines 42 to 45 we run another for loop which iterates through each position in the array and it prints out the sorted values.